Hey YouTube, it's Minnie Miss here and I'm coming to you with a how to install your U-Part wig video. And all pretty much you're going to need is your U-Part wig as you can see here. Um, a bobby pin just to hold your lead valve out. Your flat iron and this is my Celia flat iron that I have here. One inch. I didn't know the one inch was going to be so small. So I was kind of upset. I was like, oh I should have got the one and one fourth inch. I know one inch you can measure it out. but I guess I'm not used to it compared to my um, Conair Steam Straightener right here. And what's awesome is that Falca has this thing where I think you can turn in your old flat iron or any type of hair styling tool and get $40 and then you can use that towards a new styling iron thingy. So I thought that was pretty cool. But what I love about this, it makes like a, the best curls and flips, which I'm not going to demonstrate on my U part because I want to leave it in its baby state but I will show you guys out on my other U part that I did already but anyway I washed and new conditioned my hair yesterday I don't do too many crazy braids because I know I'm taking it down every single week to wash and deep condition and oil my scalp so all it is is it's one braid going back right here and another braid going right here and the point is that those two small braids are so that the clips have something to hook on to instead of like ripping out my hair. And then I just have two braids on the side because there's another two clips, the wig clips that clip right there. And then it's um two other cornrows in the back. And then all I do is that I braid them all together, like down the middle, braid them up, and then bobby pin them to the side, like so. I hope you guys could saw that. And then, to lay down my edges, I have my olive oil edge control, which I'll show you guys at the end. And I guess you can I have my fire iron heating up to 300 degrees. I probably don't need it on 300 because I fire ironed my hair already earlier. So I'm going to have it like 250, 270 or so. This is what it looks like. I liked, the only difference I like about my Conair one is that it was a digital one. Whereas this one, you can actually kind of set it in between I guess if you want to it gets really hot really quickly but what I love is that you don't feel like it's hot here which I love my hair is like burning and your hair doesn't get burnt either which is really nice these plates they're turbuline ceramic plates and they make your hair so straight so frizz free my roommate recommended me the um, flat iron and I love it so, just to introduce you to my U part, which I'm so proud of, I just took a regular dome cap from the dollar store because the beauty store is way out there. And um, took this is my old AliExpress here that I dyed. And check out my other video to see how I dyed and kind of sewed the hair onto the cap. And then all I did was I sewed on two combs at the front for where when I put it on, it'll clip right there. And then I sewed on two combs on the side, and I didn't. I ran out of, but you know the combs that they have in wigs, like the actual. I'll include a picture. Yeah, I ran out of those, so I just sewed another little clip right there. But I don't really use it. I just make sure I bobby pin and keep my wig down, but just in case I have it there till I order some clip, some um the combs. These are wig clips, and then it's just on the dome cap. I um. This is like an excess piece that I kind of sewed and tucked in. So I wanted to make sure the cat was measured to specifically my head. And then that's all there is to it. And pretty much I just kept sewing around, round, round. And then I left this much of a leave out. By the time you cut it, it expands. So you might as well just sew all the way up into the very like tip end. And it's very full. I absolutely love it. This is the color on the end. It's much brighter in the light. And this goes light to dark. Okay. So pretty much before I, s I put this on, I'm going to take my coconut grapeseed and castor oil. Make sure it's very thick. And I'm just going to apply it right here. And I massage that in pretty much every time I put the cap on. Ooh, that was a little too much. And when I go to bed at night, just so because castor oil thickens up your new growth. And I just like to oil just to give the comb some slip so it's not tearing out my hair when it goes in and comes out. 
and I just put it on the side, but really close to where the caps are going to be sitting. Not so much on my hairline to frizz it up or make it oily or anything like that. And this definitely just helps and it's just very soothing every day. And it's also good to oil your scalp. I'm definitely trying to thicken up my new girl. I have very fine hair. And of course, before I go to bed, my nighttime routine, I just take this. I love the tip. It's easy to apply. And I just oil my scalp at night. But that's not what this video is about. And pretty much that's all I have to do to protect my hair when putting this on. Something else I'll use is like a thick butter or moisturizer. Something thick so it just helps that the comb is not just sinking directly onto dry hair to rip it out. It's moisturized, it's oiled, it's protected. So then what you're going to do is I always recommend to have the clips closed so that way it's not getting caught on your hair as it comes on your head. And I think you can actually rock this as a middle part if you wanted to but right now I'm doing my side part and I'm just going to bring it on like this. All that texture is my new growth guys. So I'm going to start on this side, and what I first do is I just clip the front. You don't want it sitting too close on your hairline because that's not natural, but just like right here. And then you just clip, and then same thing on the other side. Snap, and then snap, and you'll adjust as you go because you don't want it too tight. This is actually like a perfect fit wig cap. So then I'm take C. If it was just left like this, it would look weird. So that's why you sew the two clips on the side. So I'm going to clip this side first. And I want a little tension so it's secure but not too tight that I'm feeling. Like if you feel like a headache or it's too tight, then you know it's not good. And I'm just going to pull it down in the back. And then once I do that, then I go over and clip the other side. And then in two seconds, your cap is on your head. Looks nice already. My nice little crazy leave Making up. your weave look good or your beauty part wig. It's definitely the edge control would make the difference. Can you already see how it's laying down and it looks like it's swooping out? You don't want it all puffy and crazy. That's not cute. Okay. Do I really need to fire my leave out right now? Not really, but... You know, I have protected on my hair already, not trying to weight down, but um, you can use any type of serum, silicone, something that is burning that, any oil, grapeseed oil, boards up to 450, something to protect your hair as you're flat iron. You don't want to apply heat directly to your hair. The first thing I always do is I part on the back like so. Always comb root to tip. But it's pretty much combed out anyway. And this is the flat iron. And I get to the root because that's where my new growth is. Okay. I want you to see how shiny. And, oh, I wish you guys could touch that. I promise you, this flat iron makes my hair so soft. It's crazy. So now I'm just going to... Either I do like a little dent type of thing. I'm just gonna curl. I'm not crazy talking to my boo. I, <laughs> I haven't done what I'm doing.
Okay guys, this is going to be a really quick picture slideshow of how I ombre my sold my U part with. That's the application brush that you see right there. And you're going to need a mixing bowl. And you're going to mix this color, Red Hot Rhythm. That's what I use on my Ready Ombre Lifted Bleached Hair from AliExpress. And that's just a close-up shot of the hair color that I got. Pretty much you apply the two bottles that you get in the box, as you see here, into the uh, application bowl. Mix it up, and then you're going to apply it to the ombre ends. One bundle, I just pretty much did the bottom. The other bundle, I went all the way pretty much up to the top. You like to use the application brush because it's the brush because it's not going to make a perfect neat look because you don't want straight across color. That just looks really unnatural and weird. I let it sit for about two and a half hours while I was in the class, and I folded foil over just to speed up the process. And then when it was done, I had a beautiful auburn ombre look. That's the cap on the dome, um, the, the dome head that I've been using, the dome cap. And pretty much that head really mimics mine, and it's like the perfect size, so it was just really easy. And see that excess um, piece of fabric you see there? I would just take my needle and sew that down to the cap, so now it's like a perfect tight fit, as you can see in this snapshot. And then upcoming picture, now you're going to see is I started at the bottom, way, way bottom of the cap, and I sewed all the way around to the front and I just kept doing that for pretty much the first bundle as you see there and that white chalk outline just shows me where my part's going to be and where I'm going to cut and that's how much leave out I'm going to leave. Right here I pretty much sold back and forth back and forth to reach right where the white strip was going to begin so that way I filled in the back and it didn't look so flat and empty and then once I got to the top there I began to then sew again in a U part shape. I hope that made some kind of sense. And then once that was done I directly cut on that line. I sewed my clips on, pulled out just a little bit of leave out which you'll be seeing in my upcoming video and then I pretty much sewed the cap to my head. Thanks for watching. Bye!